friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a heart cataract with grade 5 nuclear sclerosis in this case the nucleus could not be divided into free fragments by direct chop let us see this surgery by this time the main incision has been made and now two side boards are made now in this case I want to stain the capsule with tripan blue dye and I always do that underneath an air bubble here goes the tripan blue dye and then the dye is washed out after a few seconds just after six seven seconds the dye is washed out and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber. And now is the time to do capsulorexis. In hard cataracts, I always do a rexis of about 6 mm size. A large rexis is a necessity in hard cataracts it should not be less than 5.5 millimeter and it should not be more than 6 millimeter and now this is a rexis of about 6 millimeter in size hard cataracts can be managed easily the nuclear fragments can be managed easily if the rexis is large and now this is hydro dissection hydro dissection is being done at multiple points and then the nucleus is mobilized but it didn't rotate freely so I'm doing some more hydro and this is another injection so I have applied BSS in about four points and now I am injecting visco and I am going to rotate the nucleus bimanually bimanual rotation of nucleus is like this if you rotate the nucleus bimanually stress on the jonule is less and now the tip of the phaco needle is introduced into the anterior chamber some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and now I turn the handpiece make the bevel up and now I am going to try submarine chop the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus just in front of the main incision. The tip travels through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator and as it reaches near the opposite equator, the chopper is used to divide the nucleus like this. Then I, this is another chop on this heminucleus and then I came to the first crack and trying to separate the nucleus but see I could not the two heminuclei could not be separated completely and the fragments are not free no fragment is free in this case so I am sculpting a bit at the center and then tried but I was not successful in making the fragments free in this case so I have to do something else came out inject visco and now I'm taking a Sinsky hook in my right hand the chopper is in my left hand now I am trying to find 
a fragment which is joined by yes this fragment I went from behind and only one fragment has been made free the other three fragments are still joined to each other by the stubborn posterior plate and now the fecal needle is introduced again and the free nuclear fragment is emulsified bringing the fragment right at the center of the anterior chamber at the iris plane if we emulsify the pieces at the iris plane the corneal endothelium is nicely protected now see how i am separating the fragments I tilted and where it was attached i applied some amount of ultrasonic energy and the fragments became free so if we can emulsify one fragment the other fragments can be just made free by this technique just tilt it and apply little ultrasonic energy at the attachment at the band which is joining the fragments and now we can see there is no epinucleus supporting the posterior capsule in this case so I have asked for my instrument which I call posterior capsule protector it has a curvature which is which conforms to the curvature of the posterior capsule so that you can keep the your fecal needle at the iris plane and this is a thick instrument which protects the posterior capsule very nicely yes the posterior capsule protector has protected the posterior capsule and the nucleus is managed now there is a small bit of nucleus at the side port I just push it inside the entry chamber and scot it out by the Simco 23 gauge Simco cannula and this is another small piece of nucleus it is removed now very little cortical matter is there in this case some fibers are there just sub incisionally some more fibers are there and those are removed yes cortical cleanup is done now I go through the right side port there are some more fibers at around one o'clock and those fibers were removed and now the posterior capsule appears very clean and now is the time to implant an intraocular lens in this case I have selected uh, hydrophobic acrylic monofocal single piece intraocular lens with yellow tinge here goes the lens the leading haptic has gone into the capsular bag and here the trailing haptic goes into the capsular bag and now the lens is dialed and yes I'm checking if it is in the bag yes the lens is in the bag and now the viscoelastic substance that has been used is cleaned thoroughly first with 23 gauge Simco and then with bimanual irrigation aspiration so in this case we have seen nice protection of posterior capsule by a thick 
posterior capsule protector and we have seen how to conquer the stubborn posterior plate that keep the fragments bound to each other and this is the final cleaning of the visco the angle the anterior chamber and the capsula bag is nicely cleaned now I'm using irrigation and aspiration together and this removes 100% visco from the anterior chamber and now this is a little bit of moxie, moxie fluxacin and then the side ports are closed by corneal stromal hydration. Always hydrate the scleral side of these stab incisions. If you hydrate too much and if you hydrate the corneal side there is a possibility of DMD decimates membrane detachment this is the final lavage and after this we are going to form the anterior chamber very nicely and conclude the case friends we have to improve our skills every day and we must give 100% of our expertise to each patient. They deserve it. They have put their 100% faith on us before being under our knives. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.